everybody, it's Amanda. So it's 2012. I hope that everybody had a really lovely holiday and a nice New Year's. I know for us we spent time with family and then for New Year's we went on a little long weekend trip so we were able to get away for a little while. So I hope you guys had a good time as well. Um, today I figured I would show you a couple of things that I've gotten recently. Um, Sigma had a promotion, I want to say before the new year, to get 10% off your order. So I went ahead and picked up a couple Sigma brushes, so I thought I would show you those. Actually, I only own, I think, one other Sigma brush, and I do really like that brush. Um, but I'd heard a lot of chatter about these, um, I think these are the Sigmax brushes, and... There is a set of two, and I want to say it's like $29, or you can buy them singly for maybe $16. I could be totally wrong on the pricing, but um, either way, it was like $5 more to get the duo of brushes. And this one is the Round Top Kabuki. It's the F82. I'll pull it out of its sleeve. Here you can see. It is a um, synthetic brush, I believe synthetic and a lot of people have been talking about how much they are loving these brushes for applying foundation. I know that I really like the flat top brushes to get in and buff in my foundation so when I saw that the set of two included, let me see if I can open up this one, the angle brush um, and the flat top then I thought it was a really good deal. So here is the angled this is the Angle Top Kabuki, the F84. There you go, that's what it looks like, and it's really very soft. Um, and then this one is supposed to be, a lot of people really like, again, for your foundation. I've heard a lot of people go over their foundation putting it on with this brush, and then maybe if there's any places that need to be buffed out, use this brush. But I think both of them are going to be really good. You can see they're a really good length. The length of the handles is not as long as some of the other handles that I have from other brands, but I kind of like that because then I can throw this in with my travel stuff and, and that sort of thing. They're a little bit chubbier too, so they're easy to hold on to. I also picked up, let's see if I can find it, it all comes in this little mesh bag. I also picked up two other brushes that I had been looking at. And thinking about getting and since I was placing the order I figured why not. Um, this is a small tapered blending brush which looks like it's gonna be really great for crease work. I like that it comes to a point here and this is the E45 small tapered blending brush and that is the size of the handle. And then the next one I picked up I heard Lisa SEO9, SEO9, I think, um, talk about this several times using this particular brush. This is what it looks like, and it is just the eyeliner brush, the EO5. And I like to apply gel liner, and even like the, even using like a powder shadow and turning it into a liner, but I like really controlled lines, so I'm very happy to be using that. I will test those out and let you guys know what, you, what I think. And then if you spend over $35, I think, they send you a complimentary brush. And this is the brush that I got. Um, it is just a mini version of the E25. And it is a blending brush, if you can see. It's supposed to be very similar to the MAC blending brush. So we'll see how that works out. If I find out that the promo is still going on, I'll link all that stuff down below, so go ahead and check that out. Um, I also had a couple things come in for customers and giveaways and stuff like that that I'm doing for Scentsy, so I thought I would show you guys that. A lot of people have told me that they really want me to show them the products when I get them, because when you look at them on the website or in the catalog, um, they look really really good, like the pictures are great, but I always find that in person it's so much better. So. Um, you know, it's one of those things when you order something, you never know. So this is a full-size Scentsy Warmer. Isn't that pretty? 
It's called English Ivy, I believe. And here's the plug. You just plug it in. Uh, it does have a light bulb in it, and this top dish is where you put the wax. So if anybody was looking at the English Ivy, that is what it looks like. I really think it's really, really pretty. Um, these holes right here are where light shines through, so that's really nice too. And it is really kind of that green, almost like a holly green color, I think. And then I picked up, I know Christmas is over, but um, I just recently became a Scentsy rep and just recently started using the products not that long ago, so I didn't pick up any of the Christmas um, Scentsy warmers, and I wanted to get it before it's not available any longer. And this one is a plug-in, and I believe it's called Silent Night. You can check on that. And if you see, it's got little holes and little stars all the way around it. And this white part here glows with the star and everything when you plug it in. So um, I'm going to put this up for next year. But I, I'm pretty sure with Scentsy, in fact, I'm almost 100% sure that once they come out with a design, once it sells, sells out, you cannot get it anymore. So I wanted to go ahead and order this um, so that I would have it for next year. And then, uh, this is what the back, what the plug part looks like, in case you were wondering. It does have this nifty little button on it, so you can turn it like this, so it will fit into some of those really, you know, crazy outlets. Like, for instance, in my kitchen, I have one of those outlets that's installed, like, upside down. So I have to have something where I can move the outlet um, piece around. And then on the front, you just have your on-off button. Nothing, there's no, um, there's no top piece, like this one has the top piece that comes off. There's nothing to come off with this one. It's just one whole piece, and your light bulb is on the inside. So, really, really cute. And I also picked up, this is the Charity Warmer. How cute is that, right? It looks massive next to my head, huh? Um, it is a good full-size warmer, and I really like it. This is the first one I've gotten that's a square design. I know that shouldn't mean anything, but I do think it's kind of cool. Here is your plug. Again, here's your top dish to put your Scentsy Wax in, and your light bulb is right inside there. Really, really cute. There are three of them in this design, so you can choose three different colors. And I picked out this one because it looked like it was the most distressed, which is kind of like a look that I like. Um, the two other ones are still really, really cute. Uh, I just don't think they have the same kind of detailing. They still have the cross and all of that, but this one is highlighted just a little bit more. So really cool if you were looking at that. This is the Charity Warmer. Should I put it down here? And then last but not least, I just wanted to show you real quick, I got my first Scentsy brick. Scentsy brick. And Scentsy sells their wax in bars and bricks. And when you look in the catalog or look online, the Scentsy, it, you know, it's kind of hard to tell with sizing, but this is what a Scentsy bar looks like. Sorry about the glare. This one is Linger. It's currently the January scent of the month. And on the back you can see there are these pieces right here um, that allow you to break up all the pieces inside here. Um, what I find that I do is I just kind of rock it back and forth and it will break up these little pieces. Because when you open up a Scentsy package, you'll see it's all one piece of wax. So you just go ahead and break them up on your own. And this one... This one is kind of a romance smell, maybe a little perfumey. It's pretty light though. It's supposed to smell kind of like grapefruit and marshmallow. Um, and I do kind of get that. It's kind of, um, it's definitely sweet and a little bit, a little bit citrusy, a little bit fruity, but really nice. Um, so this would be good for like the bedroom or somewhere where you wanted a more soft romantic kind of scent. And this month, this one is 10% off. And the warmer of the month, if you haven't seen it, you should go check it out on my website. 
It is super cute. Um, the January warmer of the month is just in time for Valentine's Day and it's adorable. So I will link that stuff below. You guys don't feel like you have to buy anything. Just go take a look at it. It's cute. Um, and then this is a Scentsy Brick. Sorry again about the glare. Do you see? Do you see this? <laughs> this is a brick. This is a bar. Now granted, this one is more expensive than this one is. And this is really if you have a scent that you love or if it's retiring and you're not going to be able to get it anymore, go for the brick. You definitely get a little bit more bang for your buck. A lot of people like to go for bars so that they can change out their scents more often or that they have more variety for the same amount of money. Um, but I love this particular one. It's called Eskimo Kiss. You can see right there. And I love it. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites. <sighs> it smells so good. Um, this one, again, is a little bit perfumey, which is funny because usually I like the spicy scents, like the cinnamon and stuff like that, and there are some of those that I really like. Um, but this one is just nice and soft, and um, I just really like it. Really like it. In fact, it's funny, my husband really likes this one, too. So, um, actually, I'll show you this one. I actually have taken a couple pieces out. If you can see, I've already used those. I'm dropping wax. Um, and you can see how it just breaks up on the back when you kind of rock it back and forth. And with the bricks, you actually only need to use about a half of a piece to um, two-thirds of a piece to equal one of these little blocks here. So you can see probably about half would equal one of these. Um, typically, I put one or two um, of this size in my warmer, so if that's the case, sometimes I will put two-thirds of a, of a little block in here, or maybe even a whole one if I'm doing a large area, something like that. So anyway, just to give you guys a little size comparison so you know when you're looking, this is what you will find with the Scentsy Bar and a Scentsy Brick. Now, lastly, I wanted to show you, um, I recently received from Heidi, who's Jalapeno 2007. I will link her below. I'm sure you guys all watch her. She's amazing. Uh, she sent me a gift package from Julep. Actually, she sent me two packages from Julep. And Julep is a nail polish subscription. Um, and if you belong to Julep, you're a Julep maven. If you subscribe to their subscription subscribe to their subscription if you get their monthly package um, you get like 20% off anything that you purchase online so she had just gone onto their website and picked out a holiday package and sent it to me which was really sweet and I love it um, and so after trying out the polishes they did a promotion where you could get your first box for a penny which I jumped on because the polishes are like $14 a piece normally and my first box came with I think three polishes, um, or two polishes and a hand cream, I think is what it was. Um, you can check out that video, I'll go ahead and link to that if you want to see it. So I stayed with the subscription because I've really been happy. I think it's about $20 a month. If they're still running the first box for a penny promo, I will link that stuff down below too. But I just got my January box. So this is what it looks like when you get your box. It's just a nice, you know, shipping box. It says Julep Maven on it. And what I got, mine is, gosh, I want to say mine is American Beauty. When you sign up for their service, you go through and fill out kind of this questionnaire that gets an idea of what your style is like. And then it will send you polishes that are, you know, that line up really well with your style. And so this is the box that is associated to American Beauty. And what I got was two polishes and I also got this pomegranate body scrub. Which I think body products is something new that they're trying out. Um, so this is kind of what the scrub, well it's sealed, but um, it's a pretty good size. It's four ounces. And it's paraben free, so that's always good too. So my first polish that I got, this one is called Anne. And hopefully, whoops, let's see if I can get out of the shadows. 
Hopefully you can see that. It is a really pretty purple. It's looking kind of blue on the screen to me, but hopefully it's looking purple for you guys. Um, I would say this is like a kind of a grape, a <laughs> grape purple. So really cute. And then the next one that I got I'm really excited about, this one is called Maria. And hopefully you can see that okay. It is just a really beautiful metallic light pink. Maybe a mauve pink. So that'll be nice too. And then um, they also sent me these two samples, which I'm super stoked to try. Just these little sample packets. Because it looks like... Yeah, it looks like these are nail polish remover, which I had heard a rumor that they were thinking about coming out with a nail polish remover, and I'm really happy to try it because I've been using the Zoya nail polish remover, and I saw um, Heidi again. I saw Heidi mention that she was having problems with her nails, with her nails peeling and with them lifting from the nail beds. And she stopped using the Zoya polish remover and her nails have gone back to normal. So I hadn't really seen any problems with it until yesterday. I went to take a glitter polish off my nails and you know when you're wearing a glitter polish you kind of let the, polish, the nail polish remover sit on your nails a little bit longer to loosen up the glitter. So I just put it on a cotton round, stuck it on my finger and left it there for probably 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and then um, could easily wipe off the polish and the glitter. However, like two hours later, my nails felt so sore. Not, I mean, obviously my nails aren't sore, but like the nail beds underneath just felt sore. Um, so I tweeted her really quick and asked her if she had that happen when she was having problems with the polish and she said yes. So I am not gonna use the polish remover anymore. Again, like I said, I'm happy to try out tulips. I'm hoping that they don't have the same kind of problem. If you guys have had any problems with the Zoya polish remover, let me know. I'm interested to hear if anybody else is having this kind of reaction. So, another promotion with the January box, and if you're a Julep Maven, I urge you to go check the website under your account, because there was a place that asked me on the left hand side if I wanted to get a free upgrade for my January box. And of course I went, sure. Um, and I could pick one out of three um, polishes. So this was my bonus polish. It's called Gale. Let's see if I can get it in the light. There we go. It is a darker purpley kind of eggplant color. Yeah. So that'll be really fun to use too. Um, Again, like I said, I'll link everything down below if you guys have any questions about anything that I showed you today or if you want any additional reviews, let me know. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good week. Bye.